Thank you all for joining us today for uh, the virtual SDG uh, Chopal on uh, SDG goal number four around um, equal, accessible education and lifelong learning for all. My name is Sukanya Ghosh and I'm joined by an esteemed panel of guests uh, who will also uh, uh, join me in this in taking this discussion forward. Before we begin, a little bit about SDG Chopal. SDG Chopal is a 10-year multi-stakeholder national initiative set in motion by the Nagrik Foundation with members like CII's India at 75 platform, organizations like ONGC, World Health Organization, and many more who've come together to help support India's efforts to move towards the goals that we have signed up with 33 other countries to ensure sustainable, inclusive growth of our countries under the ages, under the uh, umbrella of United Nations. These goals are called SDGs, abbreviation which we will be using a lot during this discussion. Today's virtual Chopal, as we call it, is brought to you by Literacy India, a nonprofit working for education, empowerment, and enablement of women and children in specific, but at, at, at large, the underprivileged sections across India, along with CII's India at 75 platform and our media partner, Dining Paskar. So thank you again. Thank you for joining us today to give you a little bit of a, a background of premise to, to what we will be talking about today. As many of you know, about 1.6 billion children, uh, students uh, for schools and colleges have been shut out uh, for the last four odd months. Uh, in India alone, 9 million students have been shut out of uh, schools and colleges. For the right reasons, we have to stay safe, we have to stay home. But the business of learning, the purpose, the pursuit of learning cannot stop. And technology has stepped in and, and helped us here because of uh, the internet, because of smartphones and what have you. That is wonderful. That is hope, hope for a tomorrow which is not completely uh, debilitated by the pandemic, which we will find. However, there is also a very, very sobering thought. There are vast sections of children of, uh, in, in countries like India who have not been able to go back to studying, who have not been able to join the learning process simply because they do not have the ability to do that. The teachers do not have these gadgets so that they can teach. The students do not have these systems so that they can receive that learning. They do not have connectivity or very poor connectivity. And above all, they are economically and financially unable to access these even if they are made available to them. The purpose of this panel is to continue dialogue around this point and see if together, given our diverse backgrounds, given our diverse experiences, we can trigger some thoughts, some discussions around how can we make, uh, 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 how can we bring back these children to the fold of learning because we must. It is non-negotiable in the pursuit of education and learning. May I welcome our chief guest, Mr. Deepak Divedi, Chairman, Annie Basker, an editor-in-chief, member of CII Task Force, member of the Governing Council of UN Global Compact Network India, convener of SDG Chopal 2013. Thank you, Mr. Dwedi, for taking time out to join us. Thank you, Madam. Today, I to start start आगे भी बढ़ रहा है और मुसीबत के महाकाल का सामना कर रहा है हम नए पैरामीटर्स तय कर रहे हैं हमको बच्चों को कैसे आगे बढ़ाना है उनके लिए क्या हमको दिशा दिखानी है तो आज की तारीख में हम एसडीजी चौपाल के जरिए जो हमारे दूर दराज के जिलों के अंदर के गांव हैं और गांव के लिए उसको चलाने का एक स्ट्रक्चर गवर्नमेंट ने बनाया है ग्राम पंचायत ये पंचायती राज सिस्टम लेकिन इतने सारी व्यवस्था के बाद भी हमारे गांव के स्कूलों में ताले पड़े जो बेचारे जिन बच्चों को स्कूल में पढ़ना चाहिए जिनको ले जाना चाहिए जिनको मोटिवेट करना चाहिए वो बेचारे कहीं पर कूड़ा ढो रहे हैं कहीं पर मिट्टी ढो रहे हैं कहीं पर ईटे ढो रहे हैं उनको समझा के ले जाते हैं कि भाई इन बच्चों को अगर हम आगे बढ़ाएंगे तो ये ये तुम्हारे 
घर परिवार गांव का भविष्य बने हम लोग इसीलिए उन टीचर्स को मोटिवेट करते हैं जिन टीचर्स के बारे में हमारे यहाँ कहा गया है कि गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्मय श्री गुरु वे नमः अगर मैं जर्नलिज्म में आया तो मेरा भी कोई गुरु था कपिल देव जी खेल रहे उनका भी कोई गुरु है बिजनेस इंडस्ट्री हर चीज का गुरु है पढ़ाई से हमारे पढ़ाई का केवल शिक्षक एक ही चीज का नहीं है हमको ये गांव गांव लोगों को बताना भी हो हम लोग की जिम्मेदारी है कि तुम बेटे इंडस्ट्री में जाना चाहते हो तो तुम भी अपना गुरु चुनना पड़ेगा तुमको अपना शिक्षक ढूंढना पड़ेगा हम तुम्हारी मदद करेंगे तुमको इंडस्ट्री में जाना है तुमको हम मदद करेंगे हर जगह पर गुरु की बहुत महिमा है तो जहां पर हम शिक्षकों की बात है छात्रों की बात है बच्चों की बात है तो एक टमाइन एक कंप्लीट स्ट्रक्चर्ड वे में हमको एक सोचना होगा और हर अपनी बातचीत में अगर हम लोग दिल्ली से कर रहे हैं तो मेरा सभी लोगों से निवेदन रहता है कि हर चर्चा में एक जिले को जरूर जोड़ा जाए आज की तारीख में हम लोगों के यहां ऑनलाइन पढ़ाई शुरू हो गई लेकिन हमारे देश में यह भी हमारी जानकारी है हमारे गांव हमारे तहसील हमारे ब्लॉक वहां पर भी, भी नहीं आ रही ऑन रिकॉर्ड इलेक्ट्रीफाइड बिल्जेस बट प्रैक्टिकली नो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हमको कुछ सोचना ईमानदारी से पड़ेगा कि इनके लिए हम कौन सा पढ़ाई का मॉडल रखते हैं इनके लिए कैसे हम कुछ जोड़े हैं कि हम गांव के एक आदमी को हम कुछ इतना उसको हम एक अपग्रेड कर दें उसको हम ट्रेन कर दें उसका हम एक एजुकेशन का लेवल बढ़ा दें कि वो अपने ज्ञान को अपने लोगों को यहाँ के मैसेज को डिलीवर कर सके हम लोग उन बच्चों के लिए उन स्कूल के टीचर्स के लिए उस कम्युनिटी के लिए उनकी प्रॉब्लम्स को सुनने का और उसको हम सॉल्व करने का कोई मेकेनिज्म जरूर डेवलप करें जो कोई अकेला व्यक्ति नहीं कर सकता है अकेली संस्था नहीं कर सकती है गांव के लोगों की बहुत दुआ मिलेगी एक देश के एक जिलों को जरूर जोड़ें जिससे सारे स्वयंसेवी संस्थाओं को सरकारों को एक संदेश जाए कि हम लोग कोई एग्जम्पलरी काम कर रहे हैं जिसका एक प्रेगमेटिक कोई एक रिजल्ट आ रहा है और लोग उससे रियल असली माने में लाभान्वित हो रहे हैं जय हिंद जय भारत धन्यवाद Thank you, thank you, Professor Divedi. Um, that was indeed. Um, it, it made me think, and I'm sure it it's made our panelists think as well. I would also like to introduce you to our panel members who've taken time out from their very very busy schedules to join us this Friday evening. May I welcome to the discussion Rajendra Tripathi, Assistant Director, Higher Education, British Council of uh, India; Amit Gupta, Associate Director with Oxford University Press India; Sanali Datta, Vice President, Corporate Affairs, Bright Air. A private limited, Vikas Singh, senior director and Gurgaon site leader, Dell, Ajit Nema, managing director, consulting Deloitte India. May I request you, Raj, with your uh, experience of, of course, managing higher education, bringing down several notches. What would you like to uh, uh, bring to the table in terms of thoughts uh, on what can we do now? Uh, thank you, Sukanya. Uh, Divedi ji, uh, my dear colleagues, Ajit, Amit. Vikyat, Sonali, and of course, uh, my dear colleague uh, Indrani. Uh, this is, I mean, I, I I could not agree more with you, Professor Devedi, uh, that whatever effort is required, I think it should be touching the last person standing on the, uh, you know, the landscape. Uh, in terms of our work, we essentially uh, partner with India's knowledge ambitions and economic growth. Uh, essentially by creating opportunities for young people to succeed in globalized world in terms of education um, i think the key focus has always been that how do we bring people together to share expertise innovation enrich and improve teaching and learning and open new opportunities for youth of the country uh, professor devedi you you made a re really great point where uh, you began by saying that uh, this pandemic has completely changed the way we were and perhaps this will become a new normal in terms of how we are going to set ourselves as a knowledge economy as a society and also as a social system 
So in that sense, I think uh, our work contributes towards uh, improvement of education systems, trying to uh, create employment and life opportunities for young people, work with global education policy development areas, build strong education systems, and also try and support international mobility of students and collaboration between uh, researchers and scientists. There is also a great level of uh, concern where uh, we need to sort of channelize our demographic dividend um, if we really need to take uh, advantage of uh, the high uh, number of our young population of the country. I'll stop here and uh, I would uh, sort of come back with uh, the, the other ideas that I have in terms of how we can fuel this growth and also try and see how we can internationalize the whole education system how we can in input uh, systematic uh, uh, and systemic changes in the way we are looking at education, skilling, and also trying to create opportunities for youth in India. Thanks, Raj. May I request uh, Ajit to um, give us a, 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 some of his views considering you consult with and share a few thoughts with us on, uh, you know, what is it that we can do? Yeah, so thanks. So thanks for having me. Actually, it's a great topic and uh, I kind of uh, applaud the other panelists as well to kind of join me in this because I mean, I totally agree with uh, Professor Devedi as well. This is the discussions we got to have not one time more. So at least um, we discuss that as a community and then eventually we make a difference whether it at the uh, as a, she he articulated that to the last uh, child standing in the village. So if I look at the segments, there is obviously the students at the end and uh, the children at the end. Then if you kind of roll it up, there is obviously a teacher, which we really have to empower and educate teachers as well. Uh, if I have to give, let's say, if you have to take online remote classes, right? I don't think so, our teachers are equipped to do that. They will know. And then you now further elevate to a school level, right? The school has the right infrastructure or right policies or the right governance model to do that. A lot of my experience, which I kind of obviously I live in Gurgaon, so we do, uh, and I agree with um, the uh, Professor Devedi that we are fortunate and we look at that. But the problem exists right now. If you look at the number of migrant people moved, there was so much population were residing in the cities as well. So the whole concept of rural urban area, and sometimes I found is around the urban community, the, the rural community, which is around the urban is actually sometimes needs more um, than help than anything, because they kind of, we assume that they have it. 35 kilometers from where I live, uh, there are a couple of villages and I was surprised that there is only one teacher for the whole school. So they're teaching third grade, they're teaching fifth grade. So there is, the problem gets compounded and this is like 35 kilometers from Gurgaon. I think there is a definitely a requirement of public private partnership. Uh, it's more than just pouring the money. Actually, the main thing which we are doing as part of that, and I try to propagate to the my peers and my uh, fellow colleagues, the volunteerism from the corporates is lacking real. And that's the where I think because we can just generally what we do is we give the money and then we forget about how to solve that. But unless we individually kind of change ourselves, that will be very hard to bring the change in the overall community. And as uh, Professor Devidi said, they are hesitant. People in the, from the villages may be very hesitant to talk to us, right? And um, I think unko, hamari duty banti ki unko make, we can make them comfortable around us. So they can open up. We really sometimes don't understand their problems. So us tijo pe ab actually humko dhyan dena padega. Hum ek sirf ki hum unko online education pe le jayenge, wo usse baat nahi banegi. Hume infrastructure aur aas paas ki jo cheeze hain, usko bhi strengthen karna padega. No, very very valid points, uh, Ajit. There has to be a whole, you know, it takes a village to raise a child, as we said, and it it, it will literally take uh, a, a whole ecosystem to come together. Um, Sonali, uh, would you like to just give a quick uh, uh, view of things? Uh, as you say, thank you, for Kanya, and um, uh, hello to all my all of my panelists. Uh, experience, eh? Uh, Many a uh, few years ago, a Rajasthan ke gaon mein kam kar rahe the, and uh, poachers ke children ke saath. So I was uh, 
यहाँ से बुक्स वगैरह भेजते थे एंड एवरीथिंग बट द सेम प्रॉब्लम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नहीं दिस थिंग एंड वी वुड सेंड सीरीज और दैट टाइम एनीथिंग Finally, to get the problem of the electricity out, मैंने यहाँ से old फैशन ओ एच पी सिस्टम अगर आप लोगों को याद होगा स्लाइड बना के भेजे फाइनली हमने टीचिंग वहां से शुरू की बट इट वॉज अ गुड एक्सपीरियंस आई एम सेंग दैट इट वॉज अ गुड एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज उस कनेक्टिविटी में उस उसके बाद प्रोजेक्टर आया उनके यहाँ कम्युनिटी में स्कूल आने शुरू हुए एंड देन स्लोली वो वायरलेस कनेक्टिविटी लोग टेक्नोलॉजी की तरफ गए बिकॉज समटाइम द टेक्नोलॉजी विल टेक अस अहेड डेफिनेटली गोइंग अहेड विद एवरीबॉडी नाउ गेटिंग इनटू वायरलेस एंड एवरीथिंग वेदर इट्स गूगल और जियो और एक्सेट्रा वी विल हैव दैट एंड होपफुली दैट इज द वे द वर्ल्ड विल गो and people will get a benefit for it but sometimes to start the first step we might have to think in very rudimentary terms today and then uh, provide wireless if as corporates we can arrange for some wireless this thing tie up with jio or airtel or google some of our technicians had gone off to their villages and we realized ki unke phone mein connectivity to tha but training kaise सो so, थोड़ी सी यूट्यूब से डाउनलोड करके उनको लिंक्स भेजते थे देस टू स्टडी वेन नेवर है टाइम फिर फोन कॉल पे डिस्कस करते थे पॉइंट्स सो इट कैन नॉट बी वन फॉर एवरीथिंग दैट इज नो वन सॉल्यूशन फॉर इट वेरी वैलिड पॉइंट सोनाली एंड थैंक यू फॉर दैट um yes one size does not fit all what would work for uh, some a child sitting in uh, an 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 underserved child sitting in an urban area may not work for the rural area and vice versa so uh, we can uh, given dell and uh, uh, the amazing amount of work that they do do at grassroots level in india globally could i request you for your thoughts please Yeah, thanks, Sukanya. So, good evening, everybody. Very happy to be here. First and foremost, uh, heartiest congratulations to Literacy India. I was absolutely delighted to see the wonderful innovation that the children have done. I think the Toko app is an absolutely brilliant uh, introduction to this world. So, uh, Mr. Kapil, they have talked about together, and I think what we are doing today is dialoguing, having a conversation. Uh, but very clearly, uh, the word fuel came up. You know, how do we fuel this? How do you fuel this? And I think the fuel in my mind is CNG. and the cng is c for corporate n for non government and g for government and you know all three put together have to be the fuel or have to be the cng of how this growth happens from here so i think the way at dell we've tried to address this is we have said we have to do our bit i'll tell you when the covid situation started the team at dell in gurgaon we are about 1600 people and you know some they all got represented and we had a discussion and we said what is it that we can do in a scenario like this and the the entry point and the start point for us was not technology or education the start point was how do we get food first because the primary thing the the primary thing is that if people don't get food then there is going to be a huge challenge in terms of you know the children not having anything to do child labor all the other issues surrounding that dell has come out with a program and this was there during the pre covid time it still continues but it came out with a program saying that if there is volunteering that employees do for about 10 hours in 3 months then dell as a company gives them 10000 rupees approximately 10000 rupees a little over that which they can contribute to a cause of the choice so when the think tank got together they said we have partners literacy india is one of them let's first focus on the part on the food and then came the part on the education and we said what do we do there and we broke it up and we said there are two ingredients sadhan or sadhana sadhan mein aa jati hai technology jahan par aa gaye aapke devices aapka uh, internet ya connectivity ya tools aur sadhana mein aa gaya jo bahut strong raha hai which is the teachers the children unka manobal na toote unka confidence na toote wo interest level niche na jaye so we broke it up and we said all right what can we do here and on the sadhana part we said volunteering virtually and staying connected with indrani and team and then the other partners also so that we can invest and use this time for let's say teacher training so investments made through the virtual interventions of how we can upskill upgrade the teachers that's point number 1 the point number 2 is in terms of devices etc we've taken some baby steps we are trying to support through some tablets 
the corporates unfortunately will not be able to do that themselves we need the strength of people like literacy india from a sadhan and a sadhana standpoint you know the corporates have to do their bit and this is beyond what we anyway have to do on the 2% thanks vikyat thank you for that a uh, good points there and 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 that is the the uh, the kind of uh, thoughts or or approaches we're looking at uh, i'm going to uh, i'm going to jump to amit uh, who represents oxford university press thank amit. you sukanya yeah and good evening everyone so i'll answer my question in really two parts one is what is it that we have that we can look at and borrow from and look at those best practices and then i'll really come down to the specifics of what oxford university press has done if you look at the mobile uh, consumption trends they're looking at three things they're looking at um, social media so your tiktoks and facebook and whatsapp they are consuming it for entertainment and they're looking at news i think the challenge for us is how do we get education in the mix uh how do we make sure that education seamlessly marries social media how do we make sure that education marries entertainment and becomes edutainment so i think that is that is a challenge for uh, new age educators in these times um that's 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 one problem um the other thing really is that i think um, you know we we have sort of jumped on the debate of the digital divide but we have forgotten uh, the merits of some very conventional medium such as the television and the radio uh, and i and i wonder why have people forgotten so just to give you an example and to make it more real uh, nepal government along with unesco has been running a radio patshala program for last two months uh, you know their mobile connectivity isn't as great as ours and therefore they have fallen back on radio and it's doing wonderfully well um, you know um, in countries like jamaica argentina and south africa you know uh, government has brought out what they call zero rated websites those those websites cannot charge corporates are uh, paying back to the government for any kind of usage um, uh, even within india i mean we don't need to go looking outside even even within india we, we've had swayam but government recently launched something called swayam prabha you know a 24 by 7 uh, digital learning uh, channel on television for example so i think there is there is enough and more that we can look at and borrow from um, to respond to this disruption at least in the near term uh quickly coming on to what oxford university press has done where education company part of you know part of the university of oxford so um, you know we we realized that um, you know in india uh, going digital uh, 100% will not happen overnight you know print is here to stay so we have brought out solutions that marry print and digital uh, so we have blended learning solution which we believe uh, is a near term future for a country like ours uh, and the other thing that we have done is we focus a lot on adult learning you know uh, in our country we, we have this uh, issue wherein education gets disrupted for a couple of years then children again start going to school and by the time they are 18 they actually you know practically in class 5 uh, so Oxford University Press brings out a lot of material that is a in vernacular languages it it brings out lot of material uh, in a very interesting way so for example we 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 bring we bring out english grammar books that are in 12 languages so you know we are teaching english grammar to people using tamil telugu oriya bengali uh, you know and those kind of things so i think um, you know i i i completely echo what professor devedi said uh, if you have to make a a strong outreach it has to be um, in the medium that your learners or your stakeholders understand so i think oup believes in that philosophy completely and going vernacular going regional uh, is completely the way forward very very interesting conversations there and we are about at the hour uh, thank you so much for your time and with that may i now invite mr arun chobe Chief Operating Officer for India at Seventy Five Foundation uh, to offer his vote of thanks, Mr. Chobe. Uh, thank you, Sukanya, and it has been really exciting to see the kind of participation and the panelists. And I think I must thank uh, um, um, Dwedi ji and Indrani, who has been an old friend, and she's been so supportive. And their actually commitment and passion is very, very infectious. we at india at 75 love to see this because our approach is only to galvanize the participation and the collaboration among the people people who are already doing a fantastic job we are not here we are not inventing the wheel we are just getting the like minded people together and the current situation has shown the way that 
we need to work together to synergize our efforts and to complement the effort which are going on. Like in the current case, when the Toko, when the Indrani is hitting at the very roots, we are also trying to do something like a functional literacy as a substitute to serve Shiksha Abhyan. So it is required that we have a multi-pronged thing and we synergize. Indrani, to be honest, has been a great help in our functional literacy. She had offered all the content, no cost, no financial, and a lot of personal interest. So I, we really um, look forward for these kind of uh, associations where it is we can complement and uh, India 75 is always there. We are willing to chip in whatever effort, whatever resources we have. We have a small team, but we can definitely bring in a larger resources from CII. We can tap into that. Uh, our resources, we have got a large volunteering uh, uh, base. So there can be a lot of connect if we can uh, connect these dots and we can, and uh, I think this is and uh, in the current situation with the technology coming in like Mr. Rajinder, I just heard he said, it's a great opportunity. It has broken the barriers of physical movement and it has really brought us together a very much closer and made and enabled us to organize these kind of event, these kind of webinars. Um, uh, pretty successfully. I once again thank all the par um, participants, all the panelists, and especially Sukanya, congratulations on an excellently anchored session. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so much, sir. This is our effort to show you if, if children can be taught the right skills, given the right guidance, we can really create wonderful, wonderful things for us today and for the future. We also have uh, Mr. Kapil Dev, uh, National icon, much loved cricketer, uh, saying um, who joined us for the launch, which was of course virtual, recorded earlier, uh, and his message for the young minds out there. According to me, what I feel is uh, knowledge is the strength. Jitna aapki knowledge hoti hai, utna hi aapki strength badhti hai. To bachiyon ko ye kehna hai ki bachiyon sirf knowledge agar aapke paas aa jati hai, aap जिंदगी में हार नहीं सकते क्योंकि नॉलेज क्रिकेट ग्राउंड में भी हम ये कहते थे जिसको लॉ पता है नॉलेज है गेम का वो दूसरों से बेहतर परफॉर्म कर सकता है तो इसी के साथ मैं ये ऐप को आप सबको बच्चों से ज्यादा आपको धन्यवाद कहना चाहता हूं कि आपने इतना बड़ा इनिशिएटिव लिया और इस तरह का ऐप बनाया और थैंक्स टू इंद्रानी आल्सो यू टेकन सो मच पेन शी फ्लाई हाई एज समबडी वाज मेंशनिंग शी इज फ्लाइंग बट शी फ्लाइज वेरी हाई हर गोल्स आर वेरी वेरी बिग एंड दैट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल थिंग I want to say to all of you panelists and the people who are working I want to say most important is the people who are working behind the desk i think they are the very very important uh, people good luck all the best and here is i'm starting <laughs> good luck to everybody we way past the hour indrani may i invite you to say a few words of thanks for our panelists and attendees Yeah, hi everybody, and uh, thank you for this event. I was hearing each one of you very, very closely, and uh, thank you, India at seventy-five, Chobi ji, and everybody. I just want to tell Divedi ji and the others uh, two stories. In fact, um, we have a, a program called Young Tantra Digital Dose. most of uh, most of the panelists they know about it and chobi ji of course is familiar with it because portion of the content is gone for the financial service shikshab gan so chobi ji uh, we started this program to uh, you know cater to uh, the category of children you just mentioned in your uh, talk and you know way back in 2009 uh, when we were trying to you know uh, speak to the children who are out on the road you know uh, begging and running around in the streets and doing nothing nothing was exciting them but when we brought, brought in this program and we sat under the tree you know ped ke niche baith kar ke computer laga kar ke humne jab gyan tantra chalaya to in bachcho ne itna matlab response dikhaya ki wo 
एक टाइम होता था कि हम लोग उनके पीछे भागते थे अब वो यू नो प्रोग्राम के पीछे भागते हैं तो ये प्रोग्राम हैड बीन यू नो हैड बीन अ डिजिटल लीव दैट टाइम टू टू थाउजेंड नाइन एंड टेन ट्वेंट टेन ईयर्स लेटर इट हैज स्केल टू ऑल द गवर्नमेंट स्कूल अक्रॉस इन द रूरल कम्युनिटीज जो गवर्नमेंट स्कूल रूरल एरियाज में हैं और हम पंचायत के साथ राजस्थान वेस्ट बंगाल उत्तराखंड एंड हम लद्दाख भी पहुंच गए हैं जहाँ के गाँव में मतलब कंप्यूटर एक बड़ी चीज़ है तो वहाँ पे भी हम लोगों ने ये प्रोग्राम सेटअप किया है तो बच्चों के लिए हम लोगों ने ये जो पैकेज तैयार किया है पंचायत के साथ लग कर किया है तो आ, हमारा जो ये डिजिटल अभियान है जो थैंक्स टू डेल दैट वी बीन एबल टू इवॉल्व द होल प्रोग्राम टू नेक्स्ट लेवल टू नेक्स्ट लेवल अगर अंग्रेजी सिखाना है तो एक कॉम्पैक्ट तरीके से 500 घंटे का ये जो प्रोग्राम है हमने बच्चों के लिए तैयार किया है तो रिसेंटली तमिलनाडु में भी वहाँ पे एक फिशरमैन कम्युनिटी है एक और एन के साथ हम लोगों ने पार्टनर किया और उन्होंने ये कहा कि भाई इनको अंग्रेजी सिखानी बहुत ज़रूरी है क्योंकि इन लोगों ने इनको नौकरी नहीं मिलेगी तमिल लैंग्वेज तो आती है लेकिन अब ये आगे कैसे बढ़ेंगे इन लोगों को थोड़ी तो अंग्रेजी आनी चाहिए बेसिक ग्रामर आना चाहिए तो इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट ये रहा कि जब हम लोगों ने ये प्रोग्राम लॉन्च किया उस टाइम पे जब स्क्रीन uh, पे इन लोगों ने वो प्रोग्राम देखा उसके बाद से बच्चों की भीड़ लग गई अब इन लोगों के पास इतना रिस्पॉन्स इस प्रोग्राम के लिए इतना रिस्पॉन्स है कि भाई चाहे आप हिंदी में चलाएं चाहे आप इंग्लिश में चलाएं या किसी वर्नैकुलर लैंग्वेज में चलाएं इस प्रोग्राम के तहत इन लोगों को uh, काफ़ी यू नो जो बेसिक फाउंडेशन जो है एजुकेशन का काफ़ी अच्छा मिल रहा है तो विद दैट थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक्स यू कन्या यू डिड अ वेरी गुड जॉब थैंक यू द्विवेदी जी थैंक यू राज थैंक यू सोनाली थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीवन एंड थैंक यू फॉर अटेंडिंग एंड ज्वाइनिंग दिस शो थैंक यू सो मच